What is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video on Sea of Thieves. Now today we're going to be covering the patch notes for this week's update. We're also going to be talking about some of the bits and pieces what I thought would be fitting for this video. So let's get right into this. So first up we're talking about the update. So ship respawn distance. When a ship sinks, we have significantly increased the distance at which the crew's new ship will respawn. Ships will now respawn outside of visible view of the ship that sank them. This is in response to lots of players' feedback which highlighted that the previous spawn distance was resulting in griefing behaviour and stalemates at forts. Now this is honestly quite a controversial change in my honest opinion, purely because the ship respawn distance, when you guys do spawn close if you have been killed, sometimes you may want to try and get your loot back. But now the respawn distance is so far away, you don't really actually have a chance. So if a PvP group does come up to you, kill you and take your treasure, you don't have that high of a chance of getting your treasure back. It spawns you back that far. But regardless, still is a good change and does save all of the griefing which actually does happen if you get repeat killed. Now moving on to the mermaid teleport. So pirates will now have to drop any treasure item they are currently carrying before being able to see the teleport back to ship option from the mermaid. We saw feedback that players were accidentally leaving treasure behind in the sea so wanted to make it more clear that when you teleport you leave your treasure behind. So good that they are actually putting this in. I know a few of my friends actually tried using the mermaid teleport with treasure chests when the game first came out and in the beta stages and they did lose their treasure. Pretty unfortunate. Moving on now to some of the fixed issues, we have this PC only one which players should no longer experience the code error or get stuck at 99% during installation. Players are no longer able to fall through the ship geometry and into the sea if they are repeatedly jump on a chest or barrels located mid-deck. The voyage image on the captain's table now displays the rank or promotion banner in the top right hand corner to keep in line with the other areas of the game. Some good fixed issues there. Moving on to the UI now, when accepting a game invitation whilst matchmaking the game no longer enters a temporary unresponsive state and bounty captains will no longer spawn multiple times. Now that second UI point regarding the bounty captains is actually pretty amazing. I remember the second time or the second day on this game's release, me and my friends actually had a bounty and we went to chase these PvP guys and they also had a bounty. Now upon actually reaching the location, we saw the island and it was filled with bounty captains. There must have been at least 30 bounty captains there. So you can imagine once we killed them all and stole all of that loot, we had a load of stuff to cash in. And it did feel kind of annoying because it sort of skipped a load of levels. But regardless, it was pretty fun and did take us up quite a bit. So pretty awesome they fixed it but we'll miss that moving on now to the performance improvements multiple server and client crash fixes further improvements and optimization for all platforms are ongoing very nice indeed i'm really hoping for some improvements in the visuals now moving on to the known issues player may experience details of their pirate such as hair color and scars looking different from their initial selection Achievements earned prior to March the 29th are delayed but will be awarded once our fix is applied. Some players are unable to equip a second weapon for a potential workaround. See our support article. Now we'll leave a link to this whole forum topic which we are actually talking about so you guys can check that out if you are struggling with that. Some players have not received their black dog pack code. If you guys have pre-ordered from the official Microsoft Store, please submit a support ticket through support. If you've pre-ordered from any other retailer, please contact them to receive your code. Some players cannot see their downloadable content in-game. Please read our support article for potential workarounds for this issue. And the bounty quest skeletons sometimes do not spawn or cannot be found. If you encounter this bug, a potential workaround is to sail away from the island until it's out of range and then sail back in to trigger the island name banners. And yes guys, that's pretty much it for all of the patch notes. There's definitely some big known issues there that hopefully get fixed very, very soon. Especially the achievements. I really want to know which achievements I've got so I can stop going for the ones that I currently do have, if that makes sense. 
But um, yeah, really excited for some of these known issues to be fixed. And I know a lot of people are still waiting to get their black dog codes and all of that good stuff. So I hope for everyone's sake that all of this stuff does get fixed very, very soon. Moving on to another change in mind, should I say, the Plan C of Thieves death tax has actually been cancelled after the community had a big outcry about this. Now what it was, was pretty much Rare actually wanted to put in a death tax, so for when you guys do die, you lose some cash. Now the whole point of this was, was so people can't just kill themselves when they're not near their ship, or they want to get out of a sticky situation so they would blow up a barrel per se but now you guys can do that freely if you want to get to your ship quick or your teammates quick instead of trying to find the mermaid and yeah very good that they're not actually implementing this it would have been interesting to see how much the death tax would have been but I'm glad the community did raise a load of concern for this because I know that I wouldn't have liked a death tax in game and then last but not least guys, I wanted to bring this by you. Now this was shown to me by a friend. This is known as the Sea of Thieves map, interactive map or should I say. Now this is actually very very awesome indeed because what you guys can actually do on this is let's say you guys want to find a chicken or find the nearest chicken island what you guys are near. You can actually put that as a search result and it will show you the islands which actually have chickens on them. You can do the same for any other item that you guys want to find. So a snake, should we say. You guys can search for that in the actual bar, which is really, really awesome indeed. And this is definitely a really cool interactive map. Now, I do believe there is many others, but this is currently the best one I have. And uh, there is a link in the description below if you guys would like to check out this interactive map. But yes, guys, that's pretty much the video. If you did enjoy, a like is much appreciated as well as subscribing if you guys are new around here. But as always, peace out, and I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>